Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to create a hill shade. And so when we have a digital elevation model like we do here, we can see the structure of the landscape a bit. Um, we can see that there's a ridge here and valley here and some stream networks. But to really visualize what's going on, um, the, the digital elevation model isn't great. It just kind of looks fuzzy and uh, vague. And on large scales, especially, it looks it, it's, it's very difficult to see what's going on at all. And so one of the things we can do, and, and this is just a visualization tool basically is a hill shade. And it's actually one of the base maps that they give you here, but ours is gonna be much, much higher resolution because this is a one meter um, digital elevation model of this area. And so what, what a hill shade is basically gonna do is cast, um, it's like a synthetic sun casting rays across the landscape. And so you get like areas that are in shadow are darker, areas that are in the direct quote unquote sunlight are lighter. Um, and then you get, a coverage where the, the individual meaning of the cells or the individual values that you get in the cells don't really mean anything. Well, they mean something, but not anything that you could easily take away. But you get a cool visualization of what the landscape looks like. So if I go up to the command search and just type Hillshade. We want the spatial analyst tools Hillshade. We're going to click on that and then give it your input raster. Importantly, be sure that you choose your digital elevation model. If you have other rasters and you choose those, you're not going to get what you want. So don't don't create a hill shade of the slope, for example. You want to make sure that this is your elevation. Uh, output, hill shade brush one is fine. I'm just going to leave it as that. Now this is a, a cool thing about this is, remember I said that there's a synthetic sun. Well, you can control where that synthetic sun is coming from. So the azimuth is the direction. So what direction are the rays coming from? And the altitude is how high in the sky is that sun? And so, you know, depending on your landscape, the defaults that it give you give that it gives you might put everything that you're interested in in shade or direct sun where it doesn't look that great. And so you can play with this in order to illuminate your landscape in a way that shows you as much detail as you want. So in our case, I'm just going to leave this as default, but you want to know that you can change these to get different results. And there's some cool uh, animations online that you can find that show where they, they do this in a bunch of different orientations and show how the landscape looks differently. But for us, I'm just going to leave uh, the azimuth coming from 315 degrees and an altitude of 45 and run. It's doing its hillshade stuff. This will take longer the bigger your digital elevation model is. And here you go. So you can see, and it's always interesting to turn this on and off and see just how much more information you can see about the landscape once you turn on the hillshade. And so we can really see, like here we have this, this is either a home site or uh, remnants of some mining activity. We can see roads, et cetera. Whereas you, this is what it looks like in the digital elevation model. So this is a really powerful visualization tool. Um, and if you turn on, let's say, slope or upslope area um, and put it over this with some transparency, it can really help you kind of investigate what's going on in your landscape. Um, importantly, though, and I know I, I've said this, if you watch a lot of my videos, I say it in just about every one, but be careful. Do not feed this hillshade into other topographic um, calculations in arc so like if you're develop if you're making a slope or upslope area or aspect coverage in the geoprocessing tools be very careful to give it your dem do not give it your hillshade if you give it your hillshade the result you're going to get out is nonsense so always good to check the outputs and make sure they make sense but just don't give your hillshade to your geoprocessing tools all right so that's a hillshade